Critics say the reform presented by Education Minister Maria Stella Gelmini is just a fancy label to hide the fact Silvio Berlusconi wants to slash spending in the public sector, so he's decided to make drastic cuts in Italy's school system, meaning 80,000 teachers and 43,000 non-teaching staff have to lose their jobs. In the nearby town of Orte, Italian children and their foreign classmates attend classes with more than one teacher. At present, three teachers share teaching duties in different subjects for two classes. Next year, each class will have only one all-purpose instructor, and teachers and parents fear the quality of education could decline greatly. It is better to have more than one teacher because uh, there are so many subjects to, to teach to the pupils that, uh, of course, we can't teach them all. One person can't teach them all. Also, time spent at school will be slashed by half. This, critics say, places a further burden on working parents as they will have to arrange supervision for their children during longer hours spent outside school. The government plan also includes clear racist policies like the one supported by the Northern League, establishing separate classes for the children of immigrants. The excuse for an apartheid-like system is that it makes it easier for the immigrants to learn Italian. On the contrary, teachers say foreign kids learn Italian faster if they stay with the Italian kids. In the beginning, of course, uh, there is a problem for the kid because he doesn't really understand everything, but uh, uh, in about two or three months at the most, you know, he can, he can start uh, speaking fluent without any big problem. The global financial crisis makes it even harder for Italy to revive its stagnant economy. The only way to overcome at least partly the problem is increased labor productivity. And uh, the main vehicle to increase labor productivity is having a more educated workforce and having more scientific research done. Clearly, this means investing more money and not less on education. These Italians are here because they don't want Silvio Berlusconi's conservative government to destroy Italy's public education system. If the government is willing to spend whatever necessary to protect the country's banks, they say, it ought to do the same to protect its education system. These people know Italy's future and the future of their children depend on the quality of the country's schools. Wolf Ackner, Press TV, Rome.